Hey guys, this is uh, the Painamax man. Here's a video I forgot to show this film because it was behind, it fell behind uh, uh, some other tapes. But this tape was supposed to be covered in the last Painamax pickups video, and it wasn't because, like I said, it had fell behind some of my other tapes, and so I didn't see it and didn't realize in the video. I didn't cover this movie, but this is called The uh, Short Circuit, and it's basically about a bunch of uh, robots. And I've only watched like the first 30 minutes of the film, so I haven't even watched the film all the way through. Um, but I seen the trailer for it, and it looks pretty interesting. So we do have some other ones that I'm going to show you here, but this is. Uh, the front uh, short circuit and we got the side here the back and the other side and then we have the cassette which is a Sony cassette and this one was a previous rental but even though it was a previous rental it's uh, due to the fact that it's on a Sony uh, cassette uh, the uh, tape is in still good good condition. <clears throat> you know, Sony made some pretty awesome blank tapes back in the day. I mean, they made quality videotapes. Sony was making the beta machines, and they were also making the video cassettes to go along with it. And the Sony cassettes, they last just as long as like a uh, TDK or a Maxell. Uh, and uh, Fuji was good too. Fuji wasn't as good as uh, Sony or a Maxell or a TDK, but uh, Fuji was pretty good as well. Uh, Fuji used to be made in Japan as well. <clears throat> Sony tapes had factories in Japan, they had factories in the U.S. And they had factories, I believe, in Canada as well. <clears throat> but that one is on a Sony cassette. Now we'll just take a look at uh, two uh, James Bond films that I just picked up uh, recently. So I'll show you those. And uh, so we have... Dr. No and uh, Gold Finger. So, this one I'm going to watch tonight. I'm going to watch this one tonight because I haven't watched it yet. So, been wanting to watch it. So, this one I've been wanting to watch again because uh, I don't know if I've seen this one all the way through. I think I've only seen. Um, parts of this film. I haven't really seen it all, all at once. But Dr. No, which this one had, the, both of them have a Sony cassette. So, there's the back of that one. And then the side. And the other side here. And of course you've got the Sony cassette with the label. I had to re-glue the label back on because the glue had deteriorated and uh, the the adhesive basically I think the glue just dries up and the adhesive no longer works and I, I think it depends on what type of glue is used because some of the beta tapes with a certain glue that they used the label did not come off and then there are other times where you'll see the labels that have come off because they've delaminated um there we go we got this one and finally we got gold finger there's a, both of the sides the front and the rear and of course we've got the cassette and they all have the cardboard insert which is still there so that's 
a huge plus is making sure that that is still there. I will show you the first James Bond beta tape that I got, which was uh, Diamonds Are Forever. And this one was sealed at one time. And uh, it actually, the, the, the cover is not the uh, original cover. What I mean is that I bought this brand new sealed, but there was some damage to the top of the cover. It got crushed in the mail. But I bought, later on I bought a lot of um, beta tapes and I got another copy of this. So I actually got three of these, but anyway, the, the cover had its shrink wrap still around it. And I decided, because that cover still had the saran wrap around it and it wasn't damaged, uh, I would use that cover and put in it. So that's what I did. Now the only thing I don't like is that the stickers are crooked. They're not on straight at all. But I'm going to have to see if I can get them off uh, without damaging the sticker and see if I can slide my fingernail in there and peel it off so that I can uh, glue them back on and get them on, get them on there straight because they're not on straight and it drives me up the wall I don't know why the factories did that like if they just stuck the sticker on like sometimes they would get it straight and other times it, I guess it's just quality control like the guy that put these stickers on obviously didn't care and just slapped them on there. So, unless it was a machine error, I don't know. But this one is on, unfortunately this one is on a scotch cassette. But, uh, in fact, a lot of the films were scotch cassettes were being used. And I don't like scotch cassettes. I've said this repeatedly in many of my videos. Uh, scotch cassettes are crap. They wear out prematurely. They shed the oxide. So the tape just disintegrates and the oxide just starts to shed. And of course that causes video heads to get dirty. And um, scotch cassettes have dirtied heads many times. Every th sometimes, yeah, I'll, I'll play back some of these films that I have, and the ones that are Scotch or Fuji, which are the cheaper back-coated uh, tapes. Cheaper tapes are the ones that typically will dirty the heads because the oxide sheds and then it gets on the video head. So, anyway, but yeah, I'm not a fan of scotch. I never have been. Um, I like the logo. I like the logo of scotch. I like their covers. Uh, as far as their blank tapes, they got some pretty cool looking covers. But, uh, scotch is not something that I would want as my choice so if I can find a movie on beta and I can find it on something other than a scotch I always try to buy the ones that are either Sony's or Maxell or TDK because Sony, Maxell and TDK they all made good quality tape that would last the test of time nobody thought that videotape whether it be Betamax VHS Video 2000 doesn't matter nobody expected magnetic videotape to last as long as it has and to have tapes that are 30 40 plus years old and are still 
working to this day that are still playing back fine is amazing to me. It's amazing how long these tapes have lasted. And, you know, with them being on an old format, such as Beta or VHS, you would expect the video to be pretty much not there. I mean, you would expect the video to be kind of worn out, and I don't know. I don't know how you would really describe it, but uh, if you got a tape that has a, a, a lot of age on it, you, you wouldn't think that they would play fine, you know. But they do. I mean, it just goes to show you the quality of some of the manufacturers put quality into their tapes. Like Sony, Maxell, TDK. Those guys had quality. They made good quality tape. So that's basically what I that's what I feel. And that's my thoughts on this. So anyway, I am gonna be putting in um, a movie I'm gonna be watching I'm actually gonna go watch uh, Goldfinger I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, we'll see you in the next one bye bye